Hi, beautiful. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can color your hair and still be able to hide it. I believe usually people refer to this as peekaboo hair color, but we're rebranding it to reversible hair color. Cause that sounds so much cooler. And that's what it is, it is fully reversible. If you're that person who wants one day to have the fashion color and the next day to have your natural color back, oh, you've come to the right place. We have three looks today. We have the skunk stripe, we have the under layer, and we have the one that I personally named, the tip topper. It's super easy to do, so let me show you. And now Miss Manny Quan is my model today. Thank you Miss Manny Quan for being here. You are a real one and you are the one. Just like all your sisters and your ancestors before you. This one is definitely the most extreme. This gives you the most color all around. It is for the bold. The tip topper, I'm still working on that phrasing. It's not quite there, but I feel like it's almost there. It's kind of cute. Let's start with our sectioning, Brad. Let's get into it. For this one, we are parting on the side. Pick your better side. That's what I recommend. Go, boom, did it, done. Depending on your hair thickness, you might want to take less than I did out on each side of the part, but I did about mm, like three quarters of an inch on either side of the part. I chose to color all of that hair. The other important part about this sectioning is to make sure you go back far enough. I like to really bring the part kind of exaggerated down the back of my head, but not too far. Okay, you just want to get the top layer. So kind of right where your head starts rounding, that's where you want your parting to end. And this is the sectioning. This is what it should look like. Okay. Perfect. Then we are mixing up some lightener. This part is going to be up to your discretion. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend a certain formula for every single person watching. I don't know what your hair type is. I don't know what your hair looks like. I don't know what your vibes are. So unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly how to do it. But for today's purposes, I am using 30 volume and I am using foils to apply this color. That way her hair processes all at once. Everything is super even and um, nice and bright. Let's get our lightener out and let's start applying that lightener to the head. Now we're gonna pick up the whole section. I'm gonna lay a foil underneath it and I am just going to take slices out and color each hair strand. Now I'm gonna do each section one by one and here's a video of me doing that, being satisfying. Hmm, maybe not, I was kind of messy today. <laughs> now we have all that lightener on the hair. We're gonna let that process. While that's happening, we're gonna move on to our next hair color, the under layer. Let's part our hair all the way down the middle, going all the way down to the back. Great. I like to go from right on the tip of the ear back because we do want the color to be visible right behind the ear. Great, we did that. Some people do the under layer and go all the way to the front, which is a whole nother vibe, right? Like, cause that's always gonna be shown, but this way you can cover it up. If it's right behind your ear, you can totally just lay your hair on top and you won't see it. And you'll see more of what that looks like when I'm finished with this look and I'll show you how much it slays and how gorgeous it is. Now, depending on your hair thickness, I like to do about an inch strip across the head from top of ear to other top of ear. However, if your hair is very fine, consider doing less than that. You really wanna be able to cover up this patch of hair. That's the whole idea here, right? That's kind of the point of this, Brad. It's kind of the point. Let's get our lightener out and let's start applying the lightener to the head. All right, so I braided up the underneath sections. That way this lightener doesn't get on anything besides the section that I'm working on. Let's lay our foils down and I'm gonna start painting the root. I am making sure every single piece of hair is evenly saturated and we have tons of color. So important to getting an even lift. That, that's how it's done. Great job. That looks good. Damn. Beautiful. And that is complete, complete. That's gonna process for about 45 minutes. We'll be checking on it, maybe 30 minutes. In the meantime, I am gonna throw a toner over her entire rest of her hair that is left out. That way you can really see the contrast between the darkness and the colorful sections and you don't get all this highlighting in between. That's why it's gonna look a bit, a bit different in the end. It's good, it's fine, okay? <laughs> Great. We are moving on to the last and final one. Skunk Stripe, and I think we're all familiar with this one, except I see people do it wrong all the time. I mean, there's no real right way of doing anything. It's all subjective. It's all what makes you happy, what you like, what your vibes are, what your head shape is, blah, blah, blah. But there is a technique. And of course, I'm here for you to tell you what it is. I'm gonna be doing the same head of hair because mannequins are expensive. I don't need to use three of them today. Two's good enough, okay? Just pretend these are different heads. Now, the idea of this is that when you part it on the other side, you're not gonna see it, okay? So we need plenty of hair to cover up the side that we're coloring or else you're gonna be able to through the hair and it's not gonna be like totally hidden. And we wanna hide this shit. We wanna hide from it like, damn it, I don't have any good jokes. Hide from it like, I don't know, just hide. So we wanna part on either side, right? Whatever kind of your good side is, because I feel like you want the bright, nice colors on the good side of your head, at least I do. I'm choosing, I think the right side now. <laughs> is that what you're doing, Brad? 
cool. I'm now gonna take a sort of triangle section out of the hair. That way you have kind of a really thick piece of hair, but it doesn't go too far down your hairline in either direction. That way it can be concealed very easily. I'm gonna be flipping my sections over, applying that lightener to the opposite sides, going on those roots first, painting every little inch of it and making sure I don't go beyond the edges of this section. We really wanna avoid that bleeding onto the darker parts of the hair. That is where this kind of gets, ooh, a little ugly. A lot of people like get the bleed lines and to fix it is hella annoying. Like I don't want to do that. It's too much work, man. Awesome. You are slaying, sir. Now we have all that lightener on the hair. We're closing up that foil and we're gonna let that process. Just like the other model today, the other Miss Manny Quinn. Miss Manny Quinn, I think she's number like 356. I don't know. I should really write the numbers on them. I've probably used over 300 mannequins for YouTube. No, like 100, 150. I'm also gonna do the same thing where I color the rest of her hair. I tone the rest of her hair more like ash toned color that I think will complement the end result better. So that's why her hair is gonna look completely different overall when it's rinsed out. We've made it to the fun part. Actually, it's kind of all fun, but this is the part that I find the most fun is when the blonding is done and we get to go in with the colors. We have a selection of the rainbow with X Mondo color. It's so easy to apply. It's a very thick color. It's not gonna get all over everything. It has Bob Builder built in, as well as so many different oils that are gonna make your hair feel so, so beautiful when you're done coloring. Most important thing when creating my color line was to have your hair healthier post coloring. And that is exactly what we did. You will literally be amazed with how soft and how shiny your hair is. This is a semi permanent color line, so it's great for things like this. When you lighten your hair, adding that color on top and being able to change it out easily because usually when people have colorful rainbow hair, you know, you do want to change the color quite often. Um, so this is a great option to have it not last forever, but last a good amount of time and have it rinse out nicely. So that way you can use all different kinds of colors and experiment with your hair. Now to use Xmondo color, you should apply it to clean dry hair. That way it really sticks to that hair cuticle and stays for a good amount of time. Oh, this stuff is a dream to work with. I'm gonna use it right out of the container. I made it these X Mondo color jars so that you do not need to use other equipment to actually apply the color. You don't need to dirty up a bowl. You don't need to dirty up literally anything in order to use this color. I like to use a brush because it's just a habit for me, but you can literally go in with your hands and just apply it. Now for our tip topper, we are using the one, the only super purple, the best color in the world. We're applying it. Look how satisfying that deep, dark, rich, vibrant purple is in the hair. This is like the most true purple color possible. To my labs, I was like, yo, make these colors so extra bright that literally it blinds your eyes when you look at them. That was the goal and I accomplished it. We're applying this color to everything. You'll see how easily it glides on. It feels thick, but it's also kind of like gel-like. So it's a very unique type of color. I never felt anything like it. Um, it kind of hard to describe, but you can kind of see the visual of how it applies. It's just dope to do fantasy colors with. And also, just talking about my color, just I can smell it in the air. Ugh. All right, 20 minutes and we'll check back for the results. For our under layer, we are going with super red because it is a top seller and oh, it's like blood red. It's like, ah. you'll see just how extremely bright fire engine Rihanna red. I don't know how else to describe it. Like it is. It is a fire. And this will literally turn blonde hair, completely blonde to like solid red, but it's like a glistening, shiny, fabulous glass-like red. That's how I'm gonna describe it today. Get it on every single hair strand, comb it through, make sure it's good. Really rub it in with your hands. Get in there, guys. Don't be afraid to use your hands and do a little mushing around. Now that we have rinsed out our skunk stripe, it is looking nice and blonde. I'll be using super blue for this color. You really can't mess it up. <laughs> and I say that with caution because I've seen people mess up everything, but I like to apply in small sections because it is a thicker consistency, which helps it not drip and not get over all over everything and run. You just need to make sure that you really distribute onto every single hair strand as well as comb it through. I think that is so so important when you're using a semi-permanent color to comb the color through. It really helps get on every single hair strand and make sure everything is even as can be. Now, because I like to make things quick and easy and simple, the color only processes for 20 minutes. It's very fast and will not get all over your shower and you rinse it off. With some color lines, you can expect a lot of bleeding and a lot of that blue to run off into her natural color, but you're not gonna see that with X Mondo. It literally runs completely clear. Like you can do a rainbow and the yellow 
will stay pure yellow even next to like super purple. It's really nice for those applications where you wanna do colors next to each other and you don't want them to run. Ooh, the blue is looking so fierce. Working out that process, like I said, for 20 minutes and we'll be back to see the results. And here is our fabulous super blue skunk stripe. She looks iconic. The thing I love about a skunk stripe is the versatility with it. You can get this kind of like, Ah, and look at the vibrancy of this damn color. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It was literally that pale blonde and now it's like the brightest, brightest blue ever. So here is the skunk stripe with it exposed completely. We've seen it, we do it, we love it, we vibe with it. And then let me restyle it to cover most of the blue. And bam, just like that. Okay, wait. <laughs> It's not fully done, but like, hold on. We have gotten rid of most of it, right? Like 60% of it. If she had ears, what I would do now, take this section, right? Get that section down. And I would put it right behind my ear. And now you officially have no color in the front of your head. She went from that really, really intense look to no color. That is the first one. I'm obsessed and it looks great. Now, the other one is in the back. We've already seen it a little bit, but this is the vibes going on. Oh, I love the way the red is just like flowing out of her hair like a flame. Oh my God. God, I just love it. If she didn't have so many layers, this would definitely be covered more, right? So just pretend like these aren't here as much <laughs> as they are um, because she does have very short layers. And I kind of forgot about that when I was coloring it, but it's fine, right? This one I would say is the most difficult to cover up if you have layers, but if you didn't, I mean, it would be covered already, right? And you can kind of move your hair around to show it more. However, if you do have layers, this is still an option for you. And if you want to kind of have that normal hair color for a bit, what you're going to have to do is section this section out and we are gonna do a little twist and just twist the section up I'll show you okay we have found the red and what we're gonna do is just go across and do this okay Boom. Just a little twisty poo and a little doo doo doo. This is great for somebody who like has a workplace that doesn't allow you to have hair color, which is bullshit. We're just gonna throw a couple pins in here to keep it up. This could literally take you one minute to do. Okay, maybe five, maybe three. And that's that. And then we let the hair back down and let it flow. What hair color? Where is it? We didn't color our hair. What are you talking about? You're like, uh, uh, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I literally, mom, I never colored my hair. You're lying. But seriously, this is the vibes. Um, if she had thicker hair, this would be even better. But like, literally, if I pulled this back, she would have no color anymore. And this is two different looks in one. That's the vibe. That's the moment. And now let's go on to the most intense one of all, our tip topper moment. This is our topper. As you can see, her hair is dramatically colored colored looking. Again, this, this model today has very short layers, but imagine if the color went all the way down. I still do like the short layer moment with the color as well. I think it's very interesting and different. And I don't know, it's a cool vibe. This looks like almost her entire head is colored. And I don't know, I just, I love the way it cascades over the brown color. And it really goes all the way around her whole entire head. Like if we look in the back, like girl, you got color everywhere. You really went for it. But you're like, no, no, no. Let me show you the versatility of it. I can look boring too. There's so many styles you can do this. Like, let me show you before I change this look. Like a pulled back. Oh, are you joking? Like you pull the hair back and it's this whole purple look. Imagine like such a vibe. And it looks like you did your entire head in color. But wait, there's more. Let me show you the other option of how you can wear your hair so you don't have any bright colors. Immediately, we have reversed the amount of hair color on her head by like 80%. Um, if you turn her head to the side, it's still there, right? Because she does have those short layers. But like from the other look to this look, we have really changed up the entire vibe of her and her hair color. And that's what this whole thing is about. If we wanted to really dramatically reduce this even more, this is always the hard part, but we can take this hair, we can totally do a little braid with it to further reduce the amount of cover of the color on her hair. And that is what it looks like with the braid. The braid is right here. The braid is kind of like a cute little accent. It's like, ooh, I have a little bit of color in my hair, hey. But like also the front is giving business, is giving my normal color, just brown hair. And you're like, Bleh? 
What? It really can be covered up. Her hair literally looks like a different color. And this is what reversible hair color is all about. Obsessed. Well, I hope that helps you. And um, just because you're family doesn't want you to have hair color or your work or you know you can't decide what color you want i hope this video helped you there's always a way to get around sh if you want to check out xmodo color you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com that is all for today thank you for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye